Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. Hey, good morning, good morning here on the Thai farm again. Yeah, just uh, warming up just enough for me to get out of the house. Because uh, it was mighty cold this morning. And uh, just walked over, looked at my wife's little garden. How does the garden grow? This uh, squash, man, this stuff just grows. It's already going along the fence there. Just grows out of hand. I put these two things here, and then I actually, when this is already on the ground, I pulled some of it up, you know, before it buries itself into the ground, and kind of hung it over here, so it's easier to get at. And you can see, one of them, they're already, already getting big. There's more, but they're all through here. And I don't know, if, well, you guys who uh, know about squash then then you know that this stuff here dude you can't touch you need like full-on long sleeves and gloves because it is itchy and kind of prickly it just it's not fun to deal with and for that reason I was thinking of making uh, of just putting the like long poles I saw this from the melon farm just have bamboo all the way down right and then use a string so that this stuff will get on the string and then you know basically have it go straight up so all of the all of the squash would be you know basically hanging from rows i don't know if that'll work but it should it worked on the big old honeydew melons over there at the melon farm i don't know if i showed that on video Maybe I can share some of that. I think I took a, some drone footage on the melon farm. But dude, look at these papaya, man. This thing does the justice of the back over here. I showed these before, but you know. Here's my hand, look at that thing, man. That's like a double D right there. <laughs> these things are huge. Those are, those are nice, but these are just massive. And it's in the sun too, so I'm happy that's gonna probably, oh my God, wait a minute. I think these might even be bigger. Look at that. They're not quite as... Well, yeah, look at that. Look at that, dude. That is a big one. <laughs> Massive. Got cobwebs everywhere. Meh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. This was, or is... Other than the weeds, this is supposed to be asparagus, and I thought I saw the asparagus growing a couple weeks ago, but now I only see these things. Where's the asparagus, man? Oh, so yeah, it is. It's supposed to be like right here, right? That's the uh, man. That's an asparagus, isn't it? That's what you call them, but where the hell is it? These are green onions basically I think of them as royal onions because royal greens because this little bud they have at the top you can actually get this just like this right now and it smells really good my wife will pick these and you know stir fry excellent throw some weeds but we do have the old cilantro growing now so we can take some of that yeah, there's cobwebs all over my my uh, what is this my foam yeah, my wind block on the GoPro a magnet for cobwebs anyway I, uh, I made that video yesterday 
And I showed you all how I put that new extra box, breaker box for the pump, uh, for the float valve, and some of the, you know, the foot valve challenge I had because it, you know, was deep enough in the water. I think I fixed that. I can probably, I did drain this tank. I drained the whole thing because, one, because I wanted to make sure I could get the float valve working right if I wanted to keep this tank. I'm still going to put the other tank here. Looks like it's fine over there. That'll probably be enough room. Knock that form off today. Um, but I knew that basically it was too good to be true over here. And by that, or is it? <clears throat> by that, I mean my whole electrical setup. So <laughs> let me show you what happened yesterday. Now look at that, man. Frickin' nightmare. So now I got the damn pumps and the lights hooked to a extension cord. Goes around to the kitchen window on that. Because I kept getting a, um, this is actually all right. I kept getting the, the breaker trip on there. Well, it's actually not the breaker, the one in, you know, this is all connected to the to the shop house, right? And on the big shop panel in there, there's a RCCB breaker, you know, that one that's it's kind of like a safety breaker before it gets to the breakers, whatever. And it kept tripping, you know, and that's showing you that there's a fault in the line somewhere. So I thought, well, maybe it's because I, you know, I added this. So I disconnected this. It still tripped. I'm like, what the hell? And then I like would disconnect one by one by one. It still tripped. And then I would just have nothing connected except this, which is what I had the last time. I mean, before all of this, I had just my plug here. And I would plug in my, the regular house pump, I plug in here, which I normally did, and it would trip. And I'm like, oh, now nah, you tripping. Just, I had to take, I just dismantled, dismantled it all, took all the wires out. But I still needed to have the, you know, I, my wife still wanted water plenches. But still, as an emergency measure, I, I managed to keep this wire and I, you know, hooked it to a, whatever, to just to, to the, to a plug. And so I can, you know, so I can plug this in. The pump is here, the old, the house pump is here. I'll plug that in. And then this is for the lights. I did the same thing with an extra little plug. Anyway, that's just so I could have that stuff. But first thing this morning, I'm gonna have to redo all this. But I think I figured it out. I mean, the, the, the real problem really is that, you know, like this line, which is, comes here I got it coming down here and over across under there and it comes up in that blue pipe uh, up into there which is very pretty much sealed that one line is really just intercepted to a 20 amp fuse or breaker now you can create a sub panel from that panel box you can do it from a breaker, but how effective that is remains to be seen. I mean, I can't, if that's a 20 amp breaker, I can't really have a sub panel with a bunch of 32s on it. I, I don't think the math works out that way. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, these are, this is the, the group that comes out of the house over there. My, my, you know, my power, my ground, like that, and my common. So I'm gonna disconnect that here and recreate a little bit of a sub panel without having to buy another one. I do have a, a bus bar here that I have bought. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. 
put this maybe I can get that bus bar in there I don't know but anyway so I'm gonna have this um, these wires go straight into the bus bar you know fire and common and then the other all these other breakers I'll try and attach including this actually no this has to go to a breaker but anyway so everything else I'll try and attach to this bus bar I really only need uh, well I need one two what's that this uh, let me see yeah this stuff this is connected to that so coming off the bus bar I'm gonna need one two three four five six yeah six six or so and here you got one two three four five six seven although this is gonna take up two so it might just work out perfect if not uh, I got these little mini bus bars in here might be able to utilize those but in the end what what I think I have to do is I have to uh, instead of connecting these you know hot wires basically straight to the breakers I'm gonna connect it to the bus bar as a uh, you know kind of like a panel box would you gotta go into a main or whatever anyway what a freaking nightmare but you know I think I, even then I, I mentioned yesterday that I gotta you know I want to redo remodel this whole place right and that uh, in doing so afterwards I, I get a normal sub panel in there have all the wiring done. Matter of fact, I should probably just call that electrician guy that did the front gate and gave me his phone number. He's all, call me, me, me. I should probably call him to do, come on. <laughs> Which actually probably what he needs to do is go on the side of the house here where the main line comes in from, the, from our road and, and you know, like he did up there at the, put that little breaker box up at the at the gate he'll go over here and just in the open panel junction he'll just use his knife and shave off part of the insulation and weave a piece of copper through there or two actually wire it up and then bring another big line all the way back here drop it into a proper bus bar and make it happen although I did speaking of bus bars <clears throat> you know that that's the, the the design right I was actually surprised that the hardware stores didn't have them but so you know most of these bus bars this one is actually bigger than these but you know you got that this big old thick line right you know this stuff it's like a number three gauge or Hell, even number two or something. Yeah, you know that that big old metal can't fit into those little guys, right? So they have a simple brass block adapter. You stick it in that, and then the adapter has a little footer, and the footer is usually smaller, and the footer can go into the bus bar hole. This one's a little bit different. It's not really the whole bus bar. It's still a bus bar, but it's, you know, you're gonna have to wire thread that. These ones are the kind, you know, they actually have a little hole. In the, so anyway, it would go in the hole and then I could deal with it that way. And so speaking of which, so if you remember from the other videos, I still got the wire, I still got this, wires coming over from the construction site over there right even though they're not using them right now they'll be back soon enough and uh if you saw from that other video the guys that kind of just took some wires and whatever stripped them and taped them up into into those the number you know number two gauge wire aluminum wire or whatever and then uh, you know basically got them thinner or whatever wrapped them up gave them, and then brought them all the way to what I had was I think I had them over here 
or you know in here it was just hanging and then they, they they thinned out the wire and plugged it straight into that you know and it was, so they had two different things going on there and I was like oh that kind of worried me a little bit <laughs> I think it's gonna you know a little bit too much power again that's off that 20 amp fuse you know so but uh anyway so what I did for for them uh, and to make myself feel a little bit better was I took that wire pulled it out I, I disconnected it but then I went and I was able to found find these um, you know basically these are kind of the copper adapter I was talking about or the other ones are brass and they're smaller and but this is this is good for this purpose so what I did was I I cut recut this line so it's a full full width because they they had taken some of the braids and removed them but um anyway pass it in here put a nut on there and then i instead of just sticking it into the breaker i made a little handy plug so check this out meh it's a simple it's a plug but I made it so that you can just take this thing and basically put this on here. I'll be able to bolt that down and then just plug it into the, uh, you know, plug it in basically. So this is kind of like a giant extension cord plug uh, from the construction site it'll make it easier for me because then like at the end of the day when they leave I can just unplug this instead of having to disconnect from the breaker and reconnect my other wires into the breaker and all that stuff so yeah so that's what I'll do but yeah came out pretty good I soldered it I soldered that connection in there and then I well I mean I soldered the lines uh, the, the the copper lines fibered it together soldered it and then put it in there and smashed it you know and then uh, on these I also soldered it to the screws and stuff so it's real good so at least soldering it I think will carry more heat but again I, in my mind now that this thing got all twisted up it would keep kept faulting on the line I knew it was, it was I probably crossed up something when I attached this even though it seemed to all work when I finished it I was like yeah it worked and yeah, that worked because I was testing it one thing at a time and that and that and then um, and it was fine although I do remember I had the pump on the well pump I think I plugged something else in and then it tripped and I was like what oh it was too many amps with the well pump and the other pump going at the same time or something like that Anyway, end of the day, got yeah, electrical kind of challenges. But I want to try and hurry up this morning. It's, um, it's not yet 9 o'clock. I want to hurry up and see if I can knock that out real quick. And then go get some bricks, man. I have to get a couple bags of cement too, but we'll go get them bricks, man. All right, well, let me get to it. See if I can't blow this shit up. All right, back at you. Well, I can't finish the electrical without going to the store. I'm going to try to get smaller breakers. I need more wire. So the same place I should be able to... That's where I get my bricks and cement. So, or one of the places I get my bricks and cement. So might as well kill two birds with one stone. Get my bricks now. Couple bags of cement. See if I can't get them breakers without getting hit by a car. Although I went to, to make sure, I went to the main breaker box that was in the that's in the shop house that feeds that back shop. And um, anyway, I. I see that that line is actually not a 20 amp breaker on there. It's freaking 16. Whew. That ain't much, man. 
it's like your standard outlet but you know and I don't want to get a <clears throat> I can get bigger line no problem but can't go smaller but uh yeah man so I'm gonna have to get my breakers at 16 I guess for the outlet for the light for the and the, the but the pump wait a minute man that that pump I think draws off of a 32 or no it's been running I don't know shit well it's been running a long time on what I had which was probably a 32 I don't want to get myself confused. I did manage to reposition the, the, the box I bought and kind of cut some holes in it to better position the, what's that, the, the bus bars. And that one little bus bar deal that I bought, no, that ain't gonna work. Well, it'll work for, for hot lines because, you know, they're all connected. Or wait a minute, no, if I remove one, oh yeah, I think I can use it. I just gotta, rem I just gotta do top and bottom with the same thing. With the same line. Normally I would go, you know, hot on the top and cur uh, what do you call that, common on the bottom, but there's a bar that connects the top and bottom so whatever's on there has to be hot and hot and then common hot so the first all the ones on this side can be common top and bottom and the ones on that side can be you know what do you call that uh, hot on top live on hot top and bottom what am I getting oh I need wire I'm gonna get wire from this side and I'm gonna get Cement bags and brick from that side. All right, man. Let me get back at you. Well, I got my got my breakers. I just got three meters of wire on two of those. This is typical small little operation. Some gravel, coarse sand, fine sand, bricks, cement, dry board, and I got my two bags of cement and 100 bricks. Ain't gonna cost that much. Probably, all right, cost them. I think the whole thing, the whole thing was 800 for that. And then it cost me, what was that? 390, 380 for the switches and the wire. So that's uh, about a thousand, about 1200 baht. You can do the math on that. I'll get back at you. So I stopped here at the front, oh, at the front gate to drop some of these bricks actually because I talked about this before I just wanted to add a few bricks here to uh, kind of accent the front of the gate area give it a little better of an accent and uh, we'll take a look at it let me let me kind of post it up see what it would what it's kind of gonna look like I'll give you a quick peek in a minute back at you well, it never looks the same as it does in my mind's eye, but maybe you'll get the idea. So, yeah, it's just a little, just a little tiered angle piece support. It'll move over, obviously. I just set those there balancing. I figured, you know, four high would be all right. Go that way. Maybe I should do a five high. I don't know. I don't want to get too involved in it because if I put a wall down here on the property all the way down, I don't want to have to tear too much down or change too much or whatever. But I did want to have a little bit of an accent, so maybe this would be fine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but for now, set these bricks down so they don't fall over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, or ten. So ten bricks for each side. Maybe twenty bricks. I gotta save out of a hundred that I bought. I might need to buy more actually. I think it was more for the for the pizza kitchen. Oh, California pizza kitchen. I like to go in there. We had one pump drinks. Always kind of pricey, but hey man, nothing like a margarita pizza from a California Peach Kitchen. I can make that. I can pet that dog. So that's just another side project. I'm not sure I'll get that get to that today. But maybe I can do that if I finish this electrical, which I have a feeling it's going to take me a better part of the day. Um, if I can finish this electrical up, maybe I can get to that little accent wall on the gate. And then lay out the bricks for the, for the pizza kitchen project. This whole time knowing that my wife's gonna come out here and go, what are you doing? <laughs> Spending money. That's what you do in retirement, man. You spend your money. You save this shit for no grandchildren. Hell no. Yeah, right, we ain't even got children. Which makes it even better. No knock on those of you who have children. Hey, God bless you. God bless you. But, uh, yeah. Turned out pretty good for us. <laughs> All right, man, let me get to that electrical. We'll get back at you. Well, I'm almost there. I did get it kind of cleaned up. I think I got it figured out. So, definitely, definitely a lot better. What I really did was I just, uh, this box was up here, but because I, disconnected that whatever I needed to move the box over I went back and I got two 16 breakers patch that in used the two bus bars it came with and then I added a third bus bar actually I took it from over here because I didn't need these so I took one over here made that a ground because this one I want this to be a grounded outlet and um, and there is ground coming from the main breaker box in the house so I'll put that to good use and this automatic boat valve switch for the blue tank works fine I got the breaker off right now so that all works again the outlet works again everything's good I don't really need the extension cord up there anymore but for right now I have my phone plugged in and, uh, and the water pump outside but anyway that's all good, man. It all works good. I just got to button it up. However, I do, I am going to go get an actual arch CCB switch here. So I'll have to rewire that a little bit. But I also ran the wires right through here on the sides. I cut a hole on the side of that one. I cut a hole on the bottom. So once it's all buttoned up, it look pretty good. But for right now, I'm going to take a little bit of a snack a little bit of a lunch break check out my mozzarella burger man with onions grilled and a little side fries right there mm, wow yeah I'm gonna eat that right now you know I didn't buy that my mama my baby mama no. <laughs> my wife made that of course we went and got some, some burgers over there at the macro yesterday so, or burger meat or whatever, you know, Angus minced meat, they call it. <laughs> we just call it hamburger meat in America. Anyway, let me get that done. And uh, actually I do, I am, that's right, I am the second pump switch, second float valve. I'm wiring that up and I'll, I'll get that put in there too. But anyway, let me finish it up, eat my lunch. Maybe I can get over there on them bricks. Yeah. All right, back at you. Well, it's all buttoned up. Beep, 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 beep. That's the little thing I made. Um, but, 
Yeah. Uh, I tested and uh, with my amperage voltage meter and amps, it's just too much. I'm pulling too many amps from that 16 amp fuse. You know when I have everything going so I'm gonna have to call the guy the electrician guy see if he can't run a line for me I'm tempted to do it myself because I saw him how he did it up there you know but I'm, I'm a little sketchy about using my exacto knife like he did to cut into the live wire <laughs> but I don't think he has to you know I don't think he has to run a line and, and pull because we trench stars, so I don't want another overhead line coming out of here. But over here, this is where the line comes under the ground, comes up in here, the main line, and then this. So these are the lines right here. Those are the two lines going into the house. Technically, he could pull that a little bit, bend it out, and then that's where he could shave it off and put in a splice for another line that I could then run, you know, run it down here and then run it across the bottom and back to, actually I probably have to run it. Yeah, I think I'd probably want to run it in a pipe. I'll probably bury it here because I got stuff going on up here later. I don't want to disrupt it. So I'll bury it here and it can actually come up here and then it can go across here and then over here and then down here and be able to go into i think i have the larger bus now was a, yeah this was uh this was a smaller one and then i had the bigger one so that that line right there it won't it, it might fit but I, if it doesn't fit, I, I probably have to take like one strand of that aluminum braid off and it'll probably fit. And then I could sort it out better. Yeah, I wouldn't have to worry about anything overheating or tripping or whatever. Yeah. All right, man, well, that's about it. It's about a wrap for my, my electrical fiasco that I created and fixed. Now I'm going to go get on them bricks in my truck, man. I got you. kind of threw it up there you know a little bit of support and stuff dug it down a little bit you know dug it down so I could set the break down in there in a puddle of cement a couple of punch a couple of rebar it's probably not enough but check it out man boom so it's got a little bit of a 
We're gonna fill this in, obviously. But I wanted to make it a little bit rough, just like this. Actually, I'll come in later and I'll, I might even cut these smaller brick lines like I did over here. I can probably cut in there. And I took them, them red bricks. And what I did actually was I took the, the red book's only about that wide, but I took my grinder, I cut them right in half. And I stuck a half up there, broke it, you know, kind of little piece just to have that over there. And then I'll probably just fill this in. I'll probably put a form up here and fill that in with cement and then fill the top in or whatever. And then uh, do the same for that side. Yeah. What do you think, man? Just a little accent. Oh, of uh, here at the gate. I if I can see that. So, it's, it's, sun's going down over there. Can you see it? It's probably, well, it's 530. It's quitting time. I offloaded all them other bricks onto the over there by where I'm gonna set up that pizza kitchen. Whew. Woo! All right, man. Well, I'm here at the sunset on the Thai farm, getting it done. Hope you found that interesting. Be sure to leave comments, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to continue this saga and i'll get back at you with more projects <laughs>